Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Tiffany and uh, Carter are in the background hey. right now. Um, they're just hanging out. Today we're gonna continue our series on camera settings. Uh, last week, if you missed it, click this video right here. I talked about uh, exposure and also talked about ISO a little bit, but today we're gonna talk about shutter speed. So let's get right into it. So to understand shutter speed a little bit better, I feel like it's important to know how the camera kind of operates mechanically. So what is the shutter? Well, the shutter is the little mechanical device that opens and closes to expose our sensor to the available light. Shutter speed is how quickly or the rate at which the shutter opens and closes. It's literally how long the image or the sensor is exposed to the available light. So if you look at shutter speed in your settings, that's actually time that's being displayed. One with a quotation mark is actually one second. One over 60 is actually one sixtieth of a second. And one over 1000 is actually one thousandth of a second. So a couple things you need to know when you're adjusting or setting your shutter speed. The slower the speed, the more your images are subject to being blurry. Slower speeds don't catch motion well. And at slower speeds, tripods and stabilizers are pretty much needed to make sure you don't get a blurry image. But slower speeds are needed in low light situations. But if you're holding the camera, trying to take a portrait outside or trying to take a portrait inside and you're using a slower shutter speed, you're gonna need some type of tripod or something to make sure the camera is stable enough to not produce a blurry image. So if I was trying to take a portrait handheld, I wouldn't go any slower than 1 60th or 1 45th of a second. Faster shutter speeds capture motion better and also produce a sharper image. Faster speeds like 1,000th of a second or 1 one two thousandth of a second actually produce sharper images as well. Fast speeds like one thousandth of a second or one two thousandth of a second are really good for outdoor shooting. Lastly, the only rule of thumb for shutter speed while doing videography is to make sure that your shutter speed is twice your frame rate. So if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you wanna make sure that your shutter speed is at 1 45th. And if you're shooting at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second, just times that by two and that should be your shutter speed. Okay, so that's it for shutter speed. Next time we're gonna talk about uh, aperture and that's the only thing that really has to do with the lens. Um, so I will see you guys next time for that one. If you have any questions about shutter speed, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions that you want me to talk about in the next video, on Aperture, let me know in the comments below as well, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.